So many of us, we have what I call a complicated relationship with prayer. I mean, prayer is the way that we communicate with God. Prayer is the way that we let God know what we think about him, but also the way that we ask him for certain things, ways that he's going to intervene in our lives or work in our lives. And so many of us, we have these prayers that are out there, things that we're praying for, and God hasn't answered those prayers yet. Maybe it's praying for a promotion. Maybe it's praying for uh, a relationship. Maybe it's praying for a healing. I mean, there are these things that we're praying for. And for many of us, we're in between the moment where we've prayed the prayer and when God has showed up and he's answered one way or another. And sometimes God, um, he doesn't answer the way that we wanted him to. My dad was diagnosed with a brain tumor years ago and we prayed diligently. Thousands of people prayed for my dad to be healed and God didn't heal him. God uh, um, didn't answer that prayer the way that we wanted God to answer that prayer. And so, uh, like I said, so many of us have a complicated relationship with prayer. And I think the story of Abraham, we'll find this in Romans chapter 4, Paul's writing about Abraham's faith. And I think this is so important for us to remember when it comes to us having unanswered prayers. It starts off, uh, it's Romans chapter 4, verse 17. It's talking about Abraham. It says, As it is written, I have made you, Abraham, a father of many nations. And he is our father in the sight of God in whom he believed. And this is the God who gives life to the dead and calls things that are not as though they were. Verse 18 said, against all hope, Abraham in hope believed. And so became the father of many nations, just as it had been said to him, so shall your offspring be. And without weakening his face, faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead, since he was about 100 years old, and that Sarah's womb was also dead. Yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God, being fully persuaded that God had power to do what he had promised. And this is why it was credited to him as righteousness. When you're thinking about some of the unanswered prayers in your life, the healing that maybe hasn't come yet, the relationship that you're waiting on, you're waiting on God, but at the same time, you that prayer hasn't been answered yet or maybe it's a different job. There are all these different things that we might pray about. I want you to remember two things, and we'll see these in the story of Abraham. The first thing you've got to remember, we've got to remember, God's for you. God is for us. God is the perfect father. And there are times, if you've got kids, I've got four kids of my own, my kids want to eat an entire box of cereal in the morning, and I tell them no. They don't understand it, but at the same time, I. I tell them no because I know what's best for them. There are times where God knows better than we do. And God's going to give us what we need, but sometimes that's not what we want. So we need to remember God is for us, whether the answer to our prayer is yes or no or wait. But the second thing I want you to remember that we've got to remember is our stories are not over yet. I mean, think about Abraham. Think about for the decades of Abraham's life where he's waiting for God to fulfill the promise that Abraham is going to be a father to the nations. And what happens? I mean, had we asked Abraham at 70 or at 80 or at 90, hey, Abraham, are you the father of many nations? He'd say, no, no. But his story wasn't over yet. And it wasn't until he was 100 years old that God answers that prayer. And so I want you to remember, I need to remember in my own life, my story's not over yet. The Bible tells us that there's going to be a time we see imperfectly now, but eventually we're going to see perfectly as if we're face to face with Jesus and we're going to understand everything. And so we've got to remember our story is not over yet. God still has time to work in the painful things or the things that we're still, we don't understand the prayers that we prayed and God answered. No, we know that we're going to understand one day why all that happened. We know, just like, just like Romans chapter 4, verse 
verse 17, it said, The God who gives life to the dead, he calls things that are not as though they were. He has the power to do anything. And so we trust in his wisdom that our unanswered prayers are following along with his timing, but also his perfect plan. And so as you pray this week, whatever you're praying for, be encouraged. God is for you and your story is not over.